Now that we know more about the domain of the project that we are trying to build, let's create these domain models inside our application as well. I will first create a folder for these models. So right click on the project, go to add and then click on new folder. I will rename this to models. Inside the models folder, I will create another folder for the domain models. So right click on models folder, add a new folder and call it domain. So this will be the home for domain models. So right click on this folder to create a new class and this will be our first domain model. Rename this to difficulty. And this will be the difficulty domain model. It only has two properties. And the first one is the unique identifier, which is of type GUID. And the name of the property is ID. And the only other property for this is to uh, is the name property for the difficulty. So that is property name over here. To create properties faster, you can type PROP and then press double tab. Uh, and then you can create a property. So we have these two properties for the difficulty domain model. And as you can see, both of these properties are non nullable because we require a, uh, a value for these properties whenever we are going to the database. Otherwise, it will throw you a 400 exception if you are providing a null value to these properties. Now let's create the second domain model, which is the region domain model. So right click on the domain model folder, add a new class again. And this time we will call this region.cs. Click on the add. Region will have four properties. So let's start with the first property, which is the ID. So again, type GUID and the name is ID. After that, we will have the property for the region code. So like a short uh, code, so property, double tab, and then this will be of type string and the name of the property will be code. For example, if the region is Auckland, we will have the code as AKL. Then we will have the full name of the region. So property of type string and the name of this property will be uh, the name. So the name of the region. Then the last property we will have will be the image URL for this region that will be of type string and this will be region image URL and because uh, let me put a space over here region image URL now because we have decided that this will be a nullable property that means uh, you know the column can have null values inside the table we have to use a nullable property uh, over here so I can put a question mark in uh, ahead of the string to make this a nullable string type so region image URL can now have null values but any other property in here cannot accept null values so make sure when we are doing CRUD operations that you're not passing null values to any of these fields, but you can pass null value to the region image URL. Now the last domain model that we have is the main one, which is the walk domain model. So right click on domain folder, add a new class and let's call it walk.cs. And this will have a few properties. The first one will be a unique identifier. So property of type good with the name ID. Then we will have a property of type string called the name, which is the name of the walk or the trail. Then we will have a description. So property of type string with the name of the property as description. Then we will have a double. So a property of type double, which will store the length of this walk or the trail in kilometers. So length in kilometers. And after that, we will have the image of this walk. And again, if we don't have the image, we will store a null value. So we will make this type of property as a nullable string. And the name of this will be the walk image URL. So now as we have the properties over here, we now have to make connections or relationships between these domain models. So we know that walk will definitely have a difficulty that is easy, medium or hard, which relates to the difficulty domain model over here. So we will have a difficulty ID property. So that means we have a GUID and the name of this will be difficulty ID. 
and this relates to the domain model difficulty so we will have navigation properties here as well and the navigation property is another property of type difficulty and the name of this property is let's say difficulty so this tells entity framework core that a walk will have a difficulty and this is the difficulty id for it so when we run entity framework core migrations entity framework core is smart enough to give all those relationships that we want and create the database and tables as per the relationships that we are defining now the last property that we'll have is uh, will define the relationship between walk and region and walk will always have a region that the walk is at Auckland or the walk is in Wellington. So we will have a region ID as well. So again, a type of GUID because we have IDs as GUIDs and this will be the region ID. And in here, we have the navigation property for difficulty. Similarly, we will have the navigation property of the region. And this defines a one-to-one -one relationship between a walk and a region and a walk and a difficulty. So I will ne rename the second property as region. And again, these two properties are non-nullable. Hence, I'm not pushing, putting any question mark in front of any other properties. So now that we have defined our domain models, in the next lecture, we will go ahead and add the packages for Entity Framework Core and go from there.